Okay, part three here with David Thrustle in an undisclosed location beyond the Ring of Steel. Hal Andrews. Uh, <laughs> Hail, glorious leader. Hail, glorious leader. Um, we're going to talk the US election. Hang around. Uh, the report from Tiger Mountain. Okay, David, US election. What did you think? Um, as, uh, I, you know? I thought full banana republic. Yes. That's what I thought. I, thought I'd, I hadn't taken in much commentary <laughs> around it, but I did tune in the next day. I saw half an hour of CNN or some bogus nonsense, and they did the classic banana republic move of, oh, four o'clock in the morning. Oh, we're, we're stopping counting. We're going to close it. You, everyone go home. Uh, it seemed to I, be... Oh, look at this. Oh, we found this big bag. It's like... It's like Bugs Bunny or something. Do you know what I mean? They find a big bag with a whole lot of votes in and out the just, back at four o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's no. full banana republic. You know, oh, no, I don't really care. Is. Yeah, sure. A whole lot of people hate Trump and a whole lot of people this, that. I seriously don't care. But if that thing doesn't look suspicious to you, if the, I, I predicted it in, adva in advance. I said to a couple of people that said to me, oh, what do you think is going to happen? Blah, blah. And I said, it rig. depends how much they rig it. Yeah. You know, that's, that, that's the determining factor. Yeah. If, and it's like they if they stop it. counting at yeah. four a.m., yeah. you know that something. What they wanted, they counted a lot of the votes. They wanted, they found it roughly how much um, Trump was ahead in about five or six key states, and then they pumped votes in. Mail it in wasn't ballots. subtle. It no. was not subtle. It was at the all. biggest yeah. um, rigging. Uh, like, it was like live on air almost rigging. You know what yeah. I mean? And then, then the way that social media was like instantly on top of it, like you know, anyone who doubted it, was, oh no, how could you so, doubt it? So, how could they know it wasn't real? So somebody sent me an actual, a, a tiny little clip, it was like 40, 50 seconds, something like that, yeah. of CNN at four o'clock in the morning, yeah. right? And you've got uh, one of the main anchors, uh, Chris Cuomo, I think he's Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a prick. Smooth, that, like, he's a total yeah. liar, you know. He's yeah, it looks like a gangster. Evil. Oh, absolutely. And then you've got some other guy on the other side of the screen who's a, who's a boffin, who's a nerd, yep. who's just some vote counting nerd guy, right? Mm -hmm. It's four o'clock in the morning, you should find this, if, if, it's probably gone, this thing, of course, now, but uh, it's four o'clock in the morning, they're talking crap, whatever, blah, yeah. blah, oh, you know, Michigan, blah, 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 this, whatever, and then all of a sudden, and uh, I can't remember which state it was, let's say Michigan, wherever it was, Trump was four or five percent ahead, yes. right? And all of a sudden, bing, right there on yeah. screen, yeah. it flips, yeah. and Biden's now two percent, one or two percent ahead, yeah. Right? Yeah. just like this, bing, <laughs> like this. Like and a the machine, guy, yeah. The nerdy, boffin, yeah. bean counter yeah. guy, Literally yeah. goes, whoa, like this, and goes, holy shit, what happened? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the smooth guy who's yeah. done this before uh, goes, oh, nothing, we've just got updated information. <laughs> and the nerdy guy is going, no, 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 look at this, what the hell's happened here? And he's like, where did these 130,000 votes yeah. come from that were just for Joe Biden? Blah, yeah. blah. Mm. It's extraordinary. You should see this thing. I mean, it's probably been deleted from it. everywhere. I right? have seen it. You've yeah, seen yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's that, for me, that's the. That's the Banana Republic moment when all the bananas stand at attention. Yes. They go, here we are, we're in a Banana Republic. So they really had to cheat against Donald Trump. So Donald Trump was some kind of threat to, to, to this cabal? Because obviously he went to the World Economic Forum and he gave a speech saying where he denounced globalism and you know he, he spoke in favour of human freedom. I mean, a lot of people do have a problem with Donald Trump, but could, could it be possible the guy... I mean, the guy has many flaws, the guy's boorish, the guy's an egomaniac. I mean, there's no doubt about it, the guy has flaws, but... Could he be legit in the sense, because it's strange the way they hate him so. The way that the yes. cabal has united yeah. against him. Yeah, That's, yeah. That, that in I, a way I speaks agree. best of him of anything. Yes. You Look, know, outside sure. of his own actions. Yeah, yeah. And and the reaction in this election actually mm. makes me, because I'm on the fence about Trump. Yeah, yeah, you know this, yeah, you know, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. There's, I know there's competing narratives. Mm. I'm just not sure which one is the most convincing one. You know, yes. There's kind of evidence for all of them, yes. you know. But I do think that... Um, you know, this this the the reaction was extraordinary. Their behaviour has been yeah. extraordinary, and perhaps okay. Let's hypothesise because I don't have a definitive answer sure. to this. You know, but let's hypothesise that even if Trump is a deliberate uh, agent of chaos to, yep. to divide yep. society, blah, blah blah, and I think that's one possibility, but there are others as well. Mm -hmm. But even if if that is the case, this this um, even in that case. You've got a whole lot of people voting for the guy who, as your friend said, is the great disruptor. Yes. Regardless of whether he's an agent yes, of chaos yes. or not, you have a whole lot of people, I suspect, yep. who voted for him simply because he appears, yes. rightly or wrongly, to not be the system. Yeah, and I mean, people are sick of the system. Joe Biden, like, I mean, Joe Biden gave one of the worst camp. I mean, I, I honestly, if it was a choice between Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton, 
I choose Hillary Clinton. You know what I mean? She's a better campaigner <laughs> in the sense, at least if she's going to take us to hell, she'd, she'd ask us in the gas chamber quietly. You know what of, I mean? I don't know what Biden they're is the worst, Biden. the worst candidate, and, and the idea that he got more votes than, than Obama. I, I, did, I was no fan of Obama, but like. Obama was an incredible speaker. Smooth, he was smooth, smooth, smooth. Very smooth, very he, smooth. He, he, he could sell. He could sell it. the yeah. snake oil. Sell very ice well. to Eskimos. Yeah, know? absolutely. Oh, sell Hunter it. Biden is the case, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> More than once, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, look, Obama How's that was computer, smooth. baby? How's that yeah. computer? Oh, oh Hunter ouch. Biden. Red hot. Red, red hot. hot. Oh, <laughs> sizzle, sizzle. You know, yeah. And. Um, yeah, Joe Biden, I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah. I mean, that guy's not even a candidate. He's not a no. credible candidate. No. So as you said off camera, yeah. either they knew the fix was in and they just yeah. had to just wheel out some sort of warm corpse yes, yes, yes. to get over the line. And that was him. Or, I mean, Biden is, I mean, I guess the most positive thing you can say about Biden is he is clearly an absolutely an obvious puppet. Yeah, yeah. Because he's basically senile. And throughout his political career as well, he's always been, he's, he's a... Politician 101. Why I see him as a, as a yes. placeholder. He always says yes. He's like a placeholder for the sure. cabal, you know. He's sure. like, he's yeah. there, and you know, he'll sit there and you know do his thing or whatever. If he does get in, which of course I hope he doesn't. I mean, do you think there's a chance that Trump could flip this in the Supreme Court? I'm not sure. But it's really a battle for America, is what we're seeing in a way. Look, I'm not sure what's going to happen mm. at all. I mean, I look. I will swear right now, I think the entire election is completely rigged. I suspect yeah, the I last agree. one was too, and probably the one before. But this one is, is yeah. not even subtle. It's not even, yeah. it's full Clearly of something Republic. went wrong last time. You know, like yes. Hillary was meant they to get in. They didn't rig it enough. They didn't rig it enough. They so rig it they, enough. then they sort of accepted yeah. defeat in a way and thought, oh, we'll just rig it properly next time. And then, yes. ah, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen. I do think, however it plays out, and I think this is the bit that appears to be very deliberate, yes. There will be chaos. There will be oh, incredible absolutely. division. Yeah, there will be. You know? And I think that that is part of, definitely part of the agenda. It is, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. you know, yeah. that's the worst result we can well, have. Really, is it is, is. is this, this incredible division that we now find ourselves. Well, it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the next couple of months. Anyway, leading up to uh, the end of the December surprise, we could be in for. But anyway, David, it's great to talk to you uh, after all this time, and we're back. And they haven't, Did you they flatten haven't, the curve? We by have the flattened way. the curve. Flattened the curve? Two, right. two free really speakers glad. and free spirits can still talk. We can still get talk. We're still capable of communicating on, with people. Uh, <laughs> the drone bomb is coming. Oh, I know. That's that's oh, next, next on, one. Look. <laughs> look. <laughs> the SWAT team. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. we still can talk and we still can share ideas. And I guess as long as we're able to, we will here at the report from Tiger Mountain. I'd like to thank David Thrussell. Thank um, you. My pleasure. I'd like to thank Oscar for shooting it today. Uh, mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Oscar. And um, away we go. Uh, and we'll do this again. Maybe be in a month or so if we're allowed. Hail Dan. Hail Dan a Daniel Hail Andrews. Dan. We love you Dan because we have no option. Glorious leader <laughs> who flattened the curve. Flattened Hail. the curve. Hail. Hail Schwab. Hail, Hail Schwab. the Great Reset. Hail. Hail. <laughs> the report from Tiger Mountain. <laughs>